The amount of hype Elden Ring has is immense, and I think it's obvious that there will be a bunch of new players who have never played a Souls-like game from FromSoft before. In fact, if Elden Ring is going to be your first experience with a Souls-like game, you're probably going into it with a somewhat warped mindset due to the image Dark Souls has. Souls games are often seen as these big, bad, impossible to beat games. Whenever there's a difficult game being talked about, you will hear it be compared to Dark Souls. These games are like the boogeyman to casual gamers and game journalists everywhere. And because of all this, a lot of new players are going into Elden Ring thinking they have to play this way, they have to do this build, they have to use this, they have to use that, they have to level up strength, and that's just simply not true. And I'm often asked by new players, you know, what they should do in the game when it comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my personal opinion and a few tips. Before I get into it, as always, if you are new and you do enjoy this video at any time, please do consider subscribing because majority of the people who watch my videos, about 85%, are not subbed and you know, if you enjoy my content, why not subscribe? I've been making lots of spoiler-free Elden Ring content, and with the game coming up in a couple weeks, there is a lot more to come. And for those who are already subbed, I don't know if you heard, but in a couple weeks when the game comes out, I do plan on live streaming my first playthrough on Twitch. So if you want to go ahead and join in on the fun, link in the description. Looking forward to summoning some of you guys and you know, just having fun. Anyways, aside from all that, let's start talking about Elden Ring. Play how you want. It is very important that you do this. If you really wanted to, you could beat the hardest of bosses at level 1 with your fists. People have beat these games using a fucking toaster, okay? You can do whatever you want. There is no specific stat you need to level up. There's no specific weapon you need to use. There's no specific build you have to use. You can beat the game however you want to. Yes, some ways might be better than others, but it doesn't matter. What's important is if you're enjoying the game. So to anyone who has asked me, what build should I use? Do whatever you want, man. If there's a weapon that really catches your eye, go ahead and make a build around it. If there's a spell that looks really fucking cool and you like it, well, just use it. This is something that I've always loved about these games. Like, if I really wanted to, I could beat the entire game using a torch for fun. There's always a way to make even the most dog shit item somewhat viable in the game. It really depends on how creative you are. And if you're someone who doesn't really want to complicate things, you can always just go pure strength. That is always good. For me, I've always personally gone strength for my first playthrough, just so I could see what items are in the game and then make another character based off what I like. Another thing I've always loved doing is just taking characters from like a TV show or another game and just making like a Walmart version of them in these games. In fact, I've spent hundreds of hours on the other games just doing that. Another thing is just wear whatever you want too. For the most part, armor isn't too important. You don't need to wear armor with the highest stats. It barely makes a difference in these games. So whatever you think looks cool, go ahead and wear that. There's a lot more freedom in these games than you probably think there is. Anyways, moving on to the next tip. Never, ever give up. No matter how many times you've died, no matter how hard the boss is, do not give up. There is always, and I mean always, a way to easily beat a boss. I've seen so many people say that they gave up on the first boss, the game's too hard. And every time I hear that, I just think, wow, they really missed out on a great game. If you've died over a hundred times to the same boss, you're probably doing something wrong. If you've done the same thing over and over and it just clearly doesn't work, do something else. A lot of times when people are stuck on a boss, it's because they're overcomplicating things or just making things a lot harder than they need to be. Some of the most simplest ways to get past a boss you're stuck on is summoning help or just over leveling a little bit. A lot of the time switching weapons also helps out a lot. If you want to get creative you can also try stuff like poisoning a boss, maybe putting him to sleep because there's sleep arrows in Elden Ring. There is a lot of different approaches you can take, you just have to think outside the box. This is why I really do truly believe that these games are not hard, or at least not as hard as people say they are. The more you know, the easier it gets. So if you get stuck, for the love of god do not give up just experiment a little figure out what works when all else fails there's always summons you can also just go farm for levels too another thing is 
Now this one mainly applies to PvP. If you're new, you're probably gonna get shit on, okay? There will be a lot of people in PvP who have put many hours into the other games just doing PvP. If you get absolutely clowned on, please do not let this discourage you from trying PvP again, or just playing the game in general. Trust me when I say this, I know what it feels like to get clowned on in PvP. I've had my fair share of times where, you know, I've been parried, stabbed, immediately killed, pointed down on, and you know, I just lose all my souls. And I won't lie, you know, majority of the times that happens, it feels like shit and you also get filled with the hatred of like a thousand demons. There's also a high chance that the same person who did that to you will message you and tell you to get good. But don't let all that ruin your experience, okay? You can always just go get your stuff back, slowly improve at the game, and who knows, maybe one day you'll be the one invading someone and just ruining their day. Just in case anyone thinks this is me shitting on PvP, absolutely not. I love PvP, I think it's a very important aspect of the game, but you gotta admit to new players, it will definitely be harsh. While being invaded and getting slaughtered can be annoying, please do be a good sport about it too. Don't close app, don't disconnect, just fight. If you lose, you lose. If you win, you win. It is what it is. Even if you don't like it, you should respect that it's in the game. Don't ruin the fun for PvP players by disconnecting. If you really don't like PvP, just play offline. It's really annoying for players who like PvP when people just disconnect consistently. Anyways, this brings me to my last piece of advice. Seriously, take your time. I think nowadays a lot of people really just don't like taking their time with things. Elden Ring is the biggest FromSoft Souls-like game we have ever got. The map is big, there will be tons to explore. Take your time with it. If you try to rush through the game, you're not gonna have a fun time. In fact, you'll probably get your ass kicked. In FromSoft Souls games, there's always a ton of different items, spells, weapons, everywhere around the map. And when considering the map size of Elden Ring, well, you can already expect a lot more. Don't miss out on the cool stuff just because you want to go fast. I'm not really going to keep going on about this one because it's pretty obvious as why you should take your time in a game like Elden Ring. Overall, I think those are really just the most important things I would tell a new player. Of course, these are just my personal opinions. You don't have to agree with me. Anyways, that's about it. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Drop a like if you enjoyed. If you're new, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.